friends welcome back to my channel hope you all are doing good and staying safe today i will be sharing our house simple iftar preparation for which i am starting with the sharbat that is juice milk i have taken full 1 liter to that i am adding this is badam ka gond which i soaked it overnight and in the morning i am making this sharbat this is nothing but similar to that of chia seeds that is tukmalanga or sabza seeds and i added ruhafza syrup now i am adding almond milk cube which is my make and freeze recipe in the pre ramadan preparation it is a very healthy touch to your sharbat definitely the taste goes to the next level by adding this cube sure give it a try every day i have been preparing different kinds of sharbat i will share it in another video what are the other sharbats we can prepare similarly this also i prepared in the late morning that is mint chutney i have taken one full bunch of mint one full bunch of coriander ginger a little larger piece and one cup of coconut if you have dry red chilies add them i have only crushed chilies so i am adding it salt to taste and this is tamarind puree i have kept tamarind in this form so i am adding 2 cubes of tamarind puree and zeera 1 teaspoon and this is nothing but roasted chana dal which we'll use for making white coconut chutney that chana dal only i used little bit of water and i forgot to add the onions i have just added one full onion nicely blend it and the chutney is very much ready this is a very important chutney all over south india you can see this mint chutney is being served with ash that is also one more traditional recipe i will be sharing in some time this way after preparing the chutney we can just store it in small boxes for every day i will be taking one small cup that's it now i am preparing fruit chaat for which i have taken apple mango grapes and guava guava without seeds i have taken for that i have added pepper salt and chaat powder and little bit of lemon juice that's it nicely give it a good mix and our fruit chaat is very much ready daily i don't keep too many dishes on the table very few in which i definitely try to keep some fruits and one savory dish along with sharbat daily and this uh, traditional recipe what i'm preparing now is ash or ganji we call it ash mostly we have taken oil and ghee enough to that i added the whole spices that is long uh, dalchini and elaichi and then followed by that i added onions nicely fry them until brown and added ginger garlic paste that is 1 tablespoon and half tomato and 4 to 5 green chilies nicely give it a saute to that i will be adding the blend of these lentils and rice rice uh, moong dal and chana dal is the base things we will use for this but today i have added little bit of barley broken barley also that takes the recipe to the healthier side by reducing the rice i added more of barley that's it add the salt and water according to the consistency you need and we will cook it for 5 minutes on insta pot this recipe is also one of the important south indian recipe that is masal vada for that chana dal nicely soak it for at least 4 hours na drain it completely without water you have to grind it should be coarse not too fine even one or two dal is not ground no problem with that i added fennel seeds that is sown and grinded now you can see the thick paste i am adding onions coriander leaves ginger garlic paste salt to taste garam masala and a pinch of uh, soda that is baking soda and 2 tablespoon of rice flour nicely give it a good mix but later on i realized i should add little more onions also you can add double the quantity of the onions i have shown over here and curry leaves if the curry leaves are fresh the fragrance is more but i have dried only i am adding dry curry leaves this mix you should not mix it and keep because the onions will make the uh, batter leaf water that we don't want otherwise your vadas will break while frying instantly you have to work and what i did was i fried all the vadas half done 50% and removed and kept this all i did it in the afternoon itself 
in the evening just 15 minutes before I again on the stove with the oil and refried these uh, vadas how much ever you want you can fry and rest you can store it in the fridge. Now it is evening time it's time to serve I am just dishing out the fruit chart and I will show you how I refry the vadas also see these vadas I will be storing for the next day and one set I am just frying it for this evening now it is the second time I am frying it that will make the vadas more crispier also at the same time in the air fryer I have just baked the spring rolls which I have make and freeze recipe already on the pre Ramadan preparation very easily you can prepare all these stuff instantly when you keep things ready that's all very simple iftar recipe it is these are the sweets which one of my friends shared for the first day of Ramadan that's what I'm keeping on the iftar table also all week long I had been preparing various chart recipes the hivara recipes all those I will be posting in the form of shorts YouTube shorts or reels in Instagram sure go and check there you will get many recipes in couple of days again I will be posting some other recipes which you also can try in your house in this month of Ramadan. Forgot to mention at the end of making of this ash you can also add coconut milk which will be very nice enhancing the flavor. That's all this is our simple iftar not too lavish after fasting we don't need to do feasting very simple only I keep my menu in our day to day life. Only when there is party we will make something extra and make it special otherwise keep it simple and healthy.